Hi guys, it's Kurt from 5.0, giving you a quick wrap up from our latest Puma Safari. The Puma is one of the planet's most adaptable large cats, with a range that extends from just under the Arctic Circle in North America, right down to the most southern tip of South America, which is where we started our safari. Finding any of the large cats is always tricky, and I expected nothing less on this safari, but we were pleasantly surprised when the first Puma was spotted on our very first afternoon. That seemed to get the ball rolling, and we were lucky enough to see Pumas on every other outing. In total, we managed to see 11 different Pumas in 13 sightings. But it wasn't the number of Pumas we saw that made it so special, it was how we saw them. Being alone in a small group in the mountains gives the Pumas enough space to act naturally and ignore us completely. This means we witnessed incredible hunting behaviour, cubs playing together, as well as a rather ambitious female puma who tried her luck with a bird's nest and ended up somewhat awkwardly in a tree. Equally as impressive as the pumas are their main source of food, guanacos. These ungainly looking camelids have unbelievable eyesight, spotting pumas from incredible distances and sounding the alarm. They seem to be an impossible quarry, but seeing the pumas in action showed just how finely balanced the race is between the hunter and the prey. One of the elements that truly makes this a must-do safari is the magnificent scenery. The landscape is breathtaking, with unending views of quite unique topography. The lakes have an almost unreal cyan colour to them, with massive snow-capped rocky columns as a backdrop, which are sure to keep your cameras busy between puma sightings. With all the birds, pumas, guanacos and landscapes, this is a truly fantastic safari, one which I cannot wait to do again.